Hey guys, what's going on? Baru here, and today I wanted to go over, uh, I guess, sort of my last series for Borderlands 2. Um, I've been doing a lot of content for this game, and I've pretty much covered the majority of the things that I've wanted to cover in this game, except for, I guess, there's, there's, there's a lot of misinformation. Uh, in the Borderlands community regarding certain items. Now, a lot of you probably do know uh, some of these things, and some of you don't, and I wanted to kind of cover that in my last series. And I'm gonna call this, I guess, Borderlands Mythbuster, and kind of take some things that have been sort of spread around and either prove them or disprove them. And the first thing I wanted to go over today was the Cracked Sash. So there you go, Cracked Sash. Look at this shield. People think this is the most amazing TDR shield to ever exist, but they don't really know what's really going on in the parts section of this. Now, as everyone knows, everything's made up out of parts. What do these parts do? They increase your stats, but they always think that this one is better than, say, a basic TDR shield, which if we compare the two, as you can see right now, these two are exactly the same. People always opt the Crack Sash to have the lowest recharge delay, but the basic TDR shield has exactly the same stats in every way. The Crack Sash has no special effect added to it, and that's really it that it all had going for it. In addition to this, uh, the, the Crack Sash can't spawn with an elemental immunity. So you can't have a fire immune or a corrosive immune, shock immune shield. You also can't have an explosive resistant, uh, you can't have an explosive resistance shield. Not saying that explosive resistance is good because it torque are some of the worst parts, but still, you can't have that resistance. Now something that the Crack Sash does have going for it is that it can't spawn with the lesser parts like Tor, and Golem, Anshin. And because of this, it all these are all differently parted, um, differently parted Crack Sash, but you'll notice they're all under a 1.48 uh, recharge delay or lower. Unfortunately, the TD, the basic TDR can spawn with all of these different um, things, but it, as I said, it can't have this elemental resistance to it and in terms of actual stats part for part uh, they are exactly the same so anyway guys that has been i guess sort of the first episode for my borderlands mythbusters if you have any suggestion of what you would like me to cover please leave them in the comment section below and we will continue this uh, pr pretty much every day until i feel like i've covered everything that there is to cover anyway guys Thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.